So we just saw an early uh, early screening of The Giver, which is based on a novel. By Lois Lowry. Lois Lowry. Uh, stars uh, Jeff Bridges, uh, Meryl Streep, uh, Brenton Thwaites, Brenton Thwaites, uh, Katie Holmes, Alexander Skarsgård, O'Day Rush, and uh, I thought it was very good. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was good too. Uh, all the acting performances were good. It was highly stylized, which I love, like the practical effects, the CG. Pretty seamless for me. It was really cool. Definitely did not notice any CJ. Yeah. yeah, the set designs were amazing. I love the futuristic take. I like how they did certain camera effects in the film that I've never seen before. Um, it was a short, like, story. Like, here's a story. Boom. This is a story. Short. Boom. Short, sweet to the point. Tight. Well, well, very, very well. I, I imagine well adapted. I, I, although someone who's actually read the book before could probably speak to that better than I. Well, they had her on the on the thing, right? So mm. they had the, the author as part of um, the writing staff for the movie. Mm -hmm. So whenever that happens, it's usually pretty close to the source material, although they s stretched out some things. Yes, changed things about it. Um, I, I thought Jeff Bridges was amazing. He is the highlight of the film for me. I thought he, his performance was dynamite, and I was drawn in through him. He made me care about everything and everyone. Well, Meryl Streep was good, too. Oh, Meryl was great. And the lead was good. Oh, yeah, I like Fred and Floyd. So I, I, I was very, he, he was very, very good. Uh, I, I thought he did an excellent job. Young actor from Australia. Very, yeah, very I, good. I don't know how special he is. Like, I don't know if we're going to be like, oh, yeah, this dude's going to be like a superstar, but... I, I don't know. I mean, I thought he held the focus of the film very well. He's the star. It's not Jeff Bridges. It's Fred and Floyd. This is his story. Yeah. So, I mean, it had some, like, twists to the story that I definitely didn't think were earned. You know, some, like, you know, uh, I don't want to give anything away, but there was a relationship where it, was, it seemed to develop really too quickly. Um, I, I, I guess I'll just say the relationship between uh, the giver and the, rece and the receiver, mm -hmm. which is kind of, like, gay when you think about the terminology there. It's not at all. No, it's about giving you knowledge. You would be the receiver. The receiver of knowledge, the giver of knowledge. I'm the older, so I would be the giver. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, but, um, it's... <laughs> but there you go. It's horrible to think about. Oh, my God, why are we doing Why did you take it down that way? Why did you... Okay, so anyway, I, I really enjoyed the film. Uh, I wasn't sure what to make of it. I first time I saw a preview for it, I wasn't sure whether I would want to see it. But Jeff Bridges, is, uh, he's the dude, man. And he's just great. Actually, I have to mention Taylor Swift. Very briefly in this film, almost a cameo. Very good. Though. Very good. Very nice performance. Not and, and just really well done. And I ha and that surprised me probably more than anything that she was solid because you know it's very difficult with singers turned actors. It's very rare that that works out. That that's amazing. Like pretty much outside of. You know, Justin Timberlake, who's probably the best of, the best of that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I didn't really like her, her. I thought she was good in what she was, but the... It's her, a tiny part. Telling her story, I didn't really fully understand her story. So, I, I, didn't, I didn't like uh, that piece so, of it. So, we're, how much would you give? Well, hold on, let's... Uh, oh, yeah. Let me just... We have another person, a special <laughs> guest star here. And, and she's read the book. I actually read the book. So, I read this book when I was like nine, and I love it. Um, so I was a little bit nervous to see the movie because I always think the books are better. And um, I really liked it, actually. The first shot when they show The Giver, I was like, they got it. And as somebody who, like, hates when movies don't follow the book, you know, in the book, the kid's 12. In this, he's 18. So there's some differences. There's, like, a love story. And I was totally okay with what they added. Um, I thought that the movie was really beautiful. I thought that they really honored the story that it was. I think you obviously get more detail in the book, but um, would I necessarily go to the theaters to see it? You know, it's not like this huge action-packed thing that needs to be on the big screen. But I really liked it. It made my, like, 10-year-old self really happy to see it. So, I liked it. So what would you give it out of 100? Out of 100? Out of 100. Well, like an 85. All right, 85. Yeah. Very strong recommendation. Yeah, I liked it. That sounds like going to see the theater. How about you? 
you go. Oh, you want my first? Okay. I mean, sure, sure. Um, I, 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 absolutely. No question. <laughs> no question. Um, I would say probably I would have to give it an 80 out of 100. I, I very much enjoyed it. It's not my typical cup of tea, but I, I, I like the film a lot. 80 out of 100. Well, it's interesting. I think we're all in the same type of thing. I, I give it like an 81, 82. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I tell it you, is worth noting that neither Ian nor I have read the book. I never <laughs> read the book. Um, what do I want to say about it? I just want to reiterate that it's like a condensed short like story. Like here's the story. Someone's telling, and we're going to tell you this story, and it's going to take this long, and we're going to tell you, and it's like bang, 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 bang. I, I thought over. it was very well directed too. I thought that I thought it was tight. Yeah, the guy who directed it did Clear and Present Danger. Mm -hmm. um, Bob, and you know it was awesome. We saw um, this Phantom thing. Uh, Phantom. Oh yeah, we should mention that we saw the Fathom. 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 Mm -hmm. I think it's yeah. Fathom. Fathom. So Fathom events, that's how we saw it early, and they gave us, uh, they showed us the, the premiere in New York City uh, with the cast, all except for Alexander Skargard, who wasn't yeah. there. And, uh, yeah, and uh, so Robin Williams was found dead today, and we got to see, uh, well, they got to see. Yeah, somebody was getting popcorn at the time, <laughs> but uh, Molly and I got to see the uh, Jeff Bridges come out to be interviewed by the guy who was doing the Fathom event, Ben Lyons, movie critic, and he was very emotional about his former co-star Robin Williams having passed away, and that's yeah, it was it was it was amazing to be able to like witness it. Just he saw as, a little bit of it when he well, talked. Yeah, know. he talked another time introducing the movie, and uh, he got moved then too, and it was. And also Harvey Weinstein spoke about Robin Williams, you know, spoke about Goodwill Hunting. The people behind me said, uh, oh, Captain, my Captain, you know, like the Dead Poets Society movie. And, and, and famously, Jeff Bridges and Robin Williams were born together in The Fisher King, yeah. one of my all-time so, favorite movies. So it was all around, it was great to come see a movie early. Now, the, the Phantom Events, if that wouldn't have happened, if Robin Williams wouldn't have died, it would have been terrible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They I would not recommend. I would not they recommend. They interviewed Taylor Swift, and uh, it's good that she's a singer. That's all I'm gonna say. And so, but beautiful that's, girl, beautiful, yeah. very beautiful. Um, all right, that's it. Subscribe to my videos, like, like my videos, like. and uh, I love you.